Many organizations use CA control minder to implement include fine-grained user access controls, shared account password management, and uniques to Active Directory authentication bridging. One of the keys to successfully implementing CA control minder is to understand its architecture and the need for various components. CA control minder has four key components, namely enterprise management server, endpoints, report portal, and a central database. CA Control Minder also integrates with the Active Directory and the CA User Activity Reporting Module. Let's examine each of these components in great detail. The Enterprise Management Server is a core component of CA Control Minder. It is used to deploy policies to endpoints, manage privileged accounts, and control Unix host authentication. The Enterprise Management Server performs all these functions by using three components. The first component is web-based applications. Enterprise Management enables you to manage all CA control minder policies across the enterprise. Endpoint management enables you to administer and configure individual CA control minder endpoints. Password manager enables you to manage locally stored CA control minder user passwords when not linking to the active directory. The second component is the deployment map server, which is the clearing house for all policy activity. It houses policies, rule sets, and deployment orders that are distributed to manage endpoints. The third component is the distribution server that acts as the primary communication hub between management components and secured endpoints. Since the distribution server is such a key component of the enterprise management server, Let's examine its working in detail. It consists of three components, namely the message queue, the Java connector server, the distribution host. The message queue's function is to collect and forward messages related to policy, status, reports, and auditing. The JCS communicates with Java-supported managed devices for SAM actions such as password resets and account exploration. The distribution host is responsible for distributing policies to endpoints and receiving their status updates. It is recommended that you use multiple relatively lightweight distribution servers across the enterprise. This will maximize availability and performance while minimizing chatter over wide area links. Now that you understand the functionality of the Enterprise Management Server, let's focus on the other components. The central database stores SAM endpoints and accounts, endpoint reporting data, session data for the web UIs, and potentially user data. Another key component is the report portal. CA Business Intelligence is a robust reporting engine that enables you to generate information based various factors such as policy actions, endpoint status, user information, security entitlements, privileged accounts, and Unix authentication. CA Control Minder protects access to host resources like file systems, registry keys, process and applications, network resources, authentication services, and shared account passwords. These resources are protected by the policy for three types of endpoints. One more key albeit optional component of CA Control Minder's architecture is the Active Directory. 
CA control minder can also connect to the Active Directory and use the groups and users that are defined here. This means you can use a single data store for all your users. One final component is the CA User Activity Reporting Module Agent. It collects events from the audit queue on the distribution server and sends the audit events to the CA UARM server for processing, storage, analysis and reporting. If you want to report on auditing data, you must integrate CA UARM into your environment. I am sure you now understand the key components of CA Control Minder. In order to learn more about implementing and administering CA Control Minder, please register for the following courses. Mm -hmm.